impressive. Okay, uh, we have a QLGL match tonight uh, between BDP and uh, RW. It's a rail horse against uh, violent display of power. And this is a clan arena match. And we have a 4 on 4 for uh, rail horse. We have station Kez Kezema Mati Mat Matib Mati Matibi and the beast. Uh, for VDP we have Haker Midnight. Uh, she mentioned to me that she's a lady. Uh, Defix and TDS. So that's the lineup for tonight and uh, Crow is not around. Okay, first map uh, is almost lost. So I guess they're uh, ready to go. Um, I'll put my pick maps back to uh, 5 because uh, at 0 uh, the stream doesn't look very good. With all the texturing. Okay, let's get this map underway. I need to go just now. So just waiting for two to ready up. Uh, Heiko, and they're gonna oblige me. I'm gonna follow Midnight Heart. And we started. Here we go. First round coming up. Midnight Heart's taking the pavilion. She's gonna do some rocket damage, and they do take uh, the first uh, RW off. They have a man advantage. Or in Midnight Heart's case, a woman. And very first quick point. 20 seconds that round. That round. So Three, we'll see if they're two, all this quick. One, Still on fight. Midnight Heart. Nades coming down uh, into the entrances. VDP has taken out uh, the outside and they're well positioned. They're controlling all the access points. There's some green nades coming out which enemy nades and you can see the white nades is uh, midnight hearts nades very nice rail from midnight heart a little bit of lag there and we have midnight heart nades and LG battling at the top some rails being spammed across and VDP takes a 2-0 lead I'll switch over to Matibi Mat Three, two, for one, Rail Horse. Fight. Coming up with some algae. She's got uh, two there to fight on the pavilion. Uh, one chases uh, off of him and finishes him off there. And it is TDS. TDS rocket jumps to the opposite pavilion. It does some nice rocket damage work. Gets a uh, little bit of spam damage. And gets uh, taken out by a direct rocket. VDP up 3 to 0. Round begins. Uh, we'll move to Defix. 2 1 Fight. Defix is uh, basically all four uh, VDP uh, at the beginning outside and now they're extending. So you can see that uh, Defix has this side of the map. There's uh, three VDPs on the other side of the map applying the pressure. So they're rolling to the uh, yellow armor area here. Uh, in the side room. 
Jeffix is very careful not to take too much damage while lobbing those nades. And he's going to go in and finish off with the uh, LG. Comes back out. He hears a man below him. And he engages. And very quickly like that, it's 4-0 uh, Moving game. on to TDS. Three, two, one, fight. He has someone coming out of that access point. He's going to be very careful the nades don't come out of there. He's taking a fairly, fairly good position there. Making sure he doesn't get flanked. And very nice rail that hit. Two Another hits. one. Impressive. Switch over to the cross here. Yes. Uh, we'll Round look at the beast from Railhorse. Three, two, one, oh, fight. a bit of lag on my part. Or is it on the beast's part? Oh, he's he's nine nine nine. He's, he's trying to recover, and he does. And uh, he gets a nice rocket there, but gets taken out for his troubles. All of a sudden, we have a six zero lead by VDP. Uh, Three, let's move two, to Heiko. One, Give everyone a, a good look and a good follow. Sure I will appreciate it. Heiko comes up uh, with the rockets and he does take a very nice direct to the feet of that uh, RW guy. We have a 4 2 situation. Let's see how uh, RW plays it. Well, it's a 4 0 situation now, so. RW is getting taken out very quickly on this map. Three, two, Let's see someone who we one, haven't seen before. Fight. Station. Station comes up to the top. We have a lot of rocket damage. Some of it's working, some of it's getting damaged. I don't have my accuracies up. Let me put that up. Let's move over to Kizmer. Kizmer. Kizuma. Kizuma. I don't know how you say that. I don't read license plates too well. Back to Midnight Heart. 8-0 uh, lead uh, by uh, BDP. This looks to be like a very quick game. They're gonna oblige me and let me leave early, hopefully. Uh, Midnight Hot's doing some uh, nade, uh, nadeage spam into the uh, corridor here. Goes into yellow, comes out, goes to uh, the outside area. Megaris, falls below Mega and gets a nice rail there. So Midnight Hot is uh, hitting pretty well. Go back to Mad Madaby, rail horse, goes inside behind the wall, coming up to the stairwell area. There's some uh, LG damage on Defix. Defix uh, basically uh, exits. He's still in the game though. He quite died. Matibi is uh, very careful not to take any more damage. He's available now. He's dead. So first game to uh, VDP on a fairly convincing control of the map. They had a huge damage output. Let's just take a look at the stats. For VDP, we have a 46-44, a lot of railing accuracy from TDS, 50%. You can see the LGs uh, weren't that high, but they were strong enough. And on the other side, uh, the LG percentages were a whole lot lower from rail horse. Probably their strength is in the rails. So probably uh, this strategy would be to pick a map where um, they could rail, like overkill. But we'll see what they pick, the edge. Okay, this is a pretty good map to pick for uh, railers. There's lots of open railing lanes on this map. Uh, we'll see the major area to uh, take control of in this map. Uh, seems to be the uh, this area here, which is uh, mega and yellow. Sometimes called the boxy room. It's got the chain gun underneath, but uh, obviously in Clan Arena, you have no items and no weapons to pick up. So we'll call this boxy room. And the outside here we'll call the uh what will we call it? The main top room? The main room. I think that's the main room outside. And then towards the back we have the puddle, the puddle room, because that's where the water is. 
So those are the major areas of the map. And uh, I'm not sure what to call that area. Right there. But uh, we'll see if uh, they're going to get the second game going anytime soon and put up my accuracies just in case I forget them again. I know when the match shots I'll have to do it again. Okay, the crow has finally joined us and is uh, bringing out the cane and the big stick to tell uh, Pro D that there's no specs allowed in this. And he can catch the 60 second delay stream on uh, the QLGL uh, channels. One of them, anyway. There are three QLGL channels at the moment. This just happens to be one of them. Uh, they're still deciding on their lineup, I suppose. So for Rail Horse we have Station, Kizma, Matidi and the Beast. Uh, for VDP we have Heiko, Midnight, Midnight something, I can't remember. <laughs> they're fixing TV. I know she's going to tell me about it afterwards. Okay, Midnight Heart, yes, Midnight Heart. How could I forget? I'm just gonna free float around a little bit. Some of the major areas to watch out for. This is a simple air killing ground here. If you fall down in here, uh, it's in tough, especially if you're surrounded. Uh, going up to the top, here's a nice little ledge where you can camp. You have fairly good control of the outside, and you can hear anyone coming inside. Prepare your team. Little room which is often forgotten is this little room down here. And we are going to start, so I'm going to give, uh, let's see, TDS, a little bit of follow time. Round begins in three, two, He's going to go up the one, elevator shaft to the top. Fight. He's going to put the little bit of probing rockets down uh, to see if there's anyone coming out of that portal area. From the puddle room. No one there. Let's take a look at the beast. Uh, RW has taken. <laughs> this is interesting. Their strategy is to go into the uh, puddle portal room, and all four of them are down there. So we'll see how the strategy works for them. We'll see uh, VDP approaching very cautiously that area. Uh, they're gonna. S I don't think it's a good idea to go into the water. You kind of get. Uh, very slow movement in the water and it plays like treacle. So uh, we have a little bit of a strategic uh, positioning here. <laughs> All four of the RW guys are in that little portal room. Uh, they've, they've broken out. <coughs> Interesting enough. So they're trying to get some isolation uh, to be able to double and triple team some of these guys. VDP is positioned now. I'm not sure they're positioning, but they're, they're the Rail Horse actually has a good strategy. They've taken out two of the VDP members. They have a two man advantage. They should be able to pressure and extend, provided they do it as a group. So they have uh, VDP down to one man. And I'm going to try and find that one man. It's DefX. They fix your grandma's watching. So you better you better hero with the sock, man. That's one. Okay, he's got uh, two more to go, and then he should be able to do it. With his health point situation, he has to rather babysit that health point of his, so he's got to really be careful not to take any kind of splash damage from any of these flying rockets, like that one. Oh! That was a perfectly placed rocket. So he, ah, and he heroes it out. The grandma would be proud, lad. Round begins. So we'll move to uh, RW two, and see uh, if one. they're going to do the same strategy of going through the uh, portal, water portal room. The beast is kind of getting isolated a bit. 
he doesn't have uh, any support, he does go into <laughs> the room, and you can see there's four of them there in the uh, puddle portal room. I don't know what else you call it. The beast is uh, taking point in the water. He's got to be careful he uh, he doesn't stay there too long without uh, getting a breather. But we'll see how they play this because uh, the strategy actually worked out the first uh, first round, uh, where they're able to uh, come out of the portal as a pack, as a group, and uh, take out two of the VDP members. Here they go. One, two, three. So. It does seem to be a, a planned strategy that they uh, are following to take all four out into the room. So Beast is kind of isolated. Now trying to flank Foxy Room. He pays the price for that. And VDP is now extending. They have a reversal. It's a 4 1 situation. I'm going to find the last uh, RW guy. It's Kizama who gets taken out. Round begins so we'll three, watch uh, two, Rail Horse to see one, if they can do this fight. again. <laughs> I don't think it's working, but heck, it's a very unique strategy. And uh, the beast is at the top. He took out one with that rocket. He's looking at the second one. There's a rail going on. Oops. VDB comes out way with that. So again. Uh, I think RW's got to try a, a couple Three, of different strategies. Two, uh, the puddle room uh, strategy didn't seem to be uh, working for them. I think they're uh, abandoning that and they're going to try something different. Currently on Hager. Two hits. He sees that there's two RW uh, guys at the top and he's taking out the third guy. Maybe. And he does. It's my TV. And he's going to wrap up the next guy with a 4 on 1 situation, which becomes a 4 on 0. Moving on to station. RW has taken the box hero, where the uh, Mega and the Yellow are normally uh, located, as well as the Chain Gun. We have Station coming out to the stairwell, avoiding some nade damage there. Just, ah, uh, he took a little bit of splash there, he's got to be careful. Station's now coming out, just guarding the entrances and access points to the box room. That rail hit, and he gets a frag for that. He's coming up to the top, he's got the rail out. So... I'm going to find the last VDP man, it is Defix. Again, another hero situation for him. We'll see if he can pull it off. He uh, has a rail to get. And he comes up to the top. Splashes a little bit of rockets up there just to see, uh, keep the guy honest, make sure he doesn't come down. And he does manage to get that uh, rail on the beast. He gets a second rail. Let's see if he can get that third one. Oh, he took one. So they're both railable now. So let's see what he does with this. Goes to the top, comes around the flank. He's looking for the uh, the flanking uh, rail. No, he's just going to put a little bit of a nade probe to that. Goes back. He's going to take a look at the top again. So uh, he's trying to find out the position of his opponent. Let's take a look at what uh, Station is doing. He is at the top. So Defex is uh, basically uh, does have position on him. He's just avoiding any splash damage. Now Station needs better uh, headphones because I heard that to the right. And he's coming up the stairs. Putting nades up the stairs, coming back down. So, so I don't think Station has very good headsets. Ah, he did have a shot, but it was wide. We'll take a look at Defex. You see, I was playing the top. 
Again, they're both very low health. MG would uh, MG would be an intimidating weapon at this point in time. I'd force the man to keep their head down, maybe make make them make a mistake. Defex has gone into the water. He's got to be careful here. He can't move very fast in the water. <coughs> Round draw. And he holds for the round draw. Again, both had very low health and uh, it could have gone either way. So maybe a wise Three, choice. Two, one. Defix at the top. Some uh, nice skills being displayed by Defix on his movement. Comes down with an algae. He does some of the damage. Rockets up to see if he can catch the rest of it. And he does. Takes out station. Getting him with the algae, and now he's doing some fine algae work there. And again, I have forgotten my accuracy, so I'll put them up for you. Moving over to uh, Zabis. Uh, he's got lag issues, man. He's, you can see the logometer there is just getting connection and drop. All sorts of wonderful things, and he's trying to shake it off, but it's just bad. You know, that, that thing's hitting 200, 999, oh my god, it's all over the place. So, yeah, not a good thing to be playing with that type of uh, latency. Major packet loss. Heiko comes around with the uh, round, uh, round point winner with a nice direct rocket. Round begins to stick with uh, Heiko. Three, two, one, Again, this fight. does look very convincing for uh, the UAV. Eka comes in with some solid rocket work, moves to LG and should be able to wrap this one up. Maybe not. Ooh, he took a little bit of uh, nade damage, but he should be able to finish it up. So he does have the health. And he does. Uh, let's move to Kizma. I haven't seen too much of him. He's got a fairly good ping. He's coming up the uh, flanking side of the boxy room. Is he gonna go in? Yes he does. There's no one in there. He does see uh, one BDP at Heiko and he goes after him. Unfortunately he gets flanked. Wins the round. So VDP has very good positioning on the map. Round begins I'm following Midnight Heart. Three, two, one, fight. She gets a nice rail at the beginning of the round. Uh, some nades would be good down there, but maybe not. Okay, that's kind of late. I think they've played the area there. Now we have uh, RW uh, held up in the uh, puddle portal room. And we can see Meta be trying to play that puddle. Uh, let's see how they're going to play this. It's a water fight. We have a water fight LG battle. So we'll see if uh, the strategy pays off for RW. Maybe they can wrap up the last one. Yes, they do. They have a three on one situation now. Uh, Maddie having uh, all sorts of problems rocket jumping up to the top lane. He was getting tagged a little while he was doing those rocket jump attempts. So he does get turned on some of those uh, splash damage from the rockets. Comes over to the top. Looks for the bottom. He hears the fighting at the bottom. It's still going on. It's a one-on-one -on -one suddenly. What happened to the three-on-one? What? Well, it became a one-on-one. -on -one. Let's go see who it is. It's TDS. And he's hero time now. So he's health points is 12. They're both uh, available. Manabee has a slight advantage, but you know, given the uh, given this map and its railing lanes, that's basically the next rail kills. So we'll see TDS his position, and he does get the uh, kill for that. We have the match point. Round begins in three. We'll see if uh, Rail Horse can pull out around here. Fight. To stay off elimination. TDS is coming around the corner. Let me just move the follow to uh, the beast. Give you some idea of oh, he's, he's got a terrible thing all over the place. So we'll move to Heiko. It's still 4-4. Four four. We still have full strength on both teams. 
And uh, Heiko's looking for that rail, of his. He's not finding it. Oh, he finds it through the uh, through the grill work on the fence, through the wire mesh. And he got another one. He's looking for the uh, the one in the soup, and he gets the last one. No, there are two more rail holes. So VDP has still full spin. Heiko's got to be careful. He took a little bit of Nate Splash and uh, VDP wins. has wrapped it up. Uh, so both maps convincingly taken. Uh, they didn't give up any rounds, so well done VDP. Uh, let's take a very quick look at the stats. Uh, again, 50% uh, for Heiko on the rockets. Very good rockets and very good rails. 50% also for rails. So Heiko was hitting uh, pretty good uh, accuracies throughout. But again, uh, very, very much uh, a team orientated game and BDP controlled the map very well. Uh, rail Horse couldn't do very much against that. Okay. And that'll be our game for tonight, and I gotta run.